worst bit of uh, Forza Glomax now over. It's definitely a bit I was uh, sort of dreading. Everyone says it's really bad, but it's fine. A few, few careful steps at places, and I reckon, uh, yeah, it's very doable. This is uh, marked as a minor tributary on the uh, map. It's pretty, looking pretty impassable at the bottom of Gluna Falls here. Uh, I think I'm going to try follow it upstream a bit and find somewhere to cross. Uh, looks a bit narrower maybe up there. Just finished my uh, final climb for the day and I've got about four or five k to go down to Mill Beard Buffy. There's been some tricky, tricky river crossings today and uh, two more, two more to get to the uh, Buffy so um, hopefully, hopefully they go alright but they, they have been taking their time. Buffy, and it's uh, it's pretty remote. It's uh, probably like, yeah, it's uh, it's feeling pretty wide, and it's and it's, uh, it's quite nice inside. Um, it's got a little table and desk for revision, and then uh, here it's a bit of a uh, sleeping room. There's fire, some deer antlers, which is a bit creepy. Velux uh, window. I'm very impressed that you get it down here. Even in upstairs, this is a pretty pretty posh combination. Ah. And uh, all to myself at the moment, so we shall see. Start of day six now, and uh, just come from uh, Mulbood, Bothy. Had one river crossing already, and uh, just going along some uh, sort of rough terrain at the moment for about two kilometres until uh, hopefully intersecting a, uh, a, uh, a path. be the uh, thing to do to come cycle to the bottom of the uh, Munro's and then walk up the rest of the way. Maybe I uh, should have done this myself. I'm busy planning day seven and uh, I uh, meant to be picking up some food in Kinlochimi. Uh, this is a little bit dodgy, I accidentally put some batteries in so I don't know whether it's going to arrive, but um, all going well, I'm tempted to continue uh, for my predicted ending, because it's quite a short day after day 7, and I'm feeling alright, so I might go all the way up, and then just off the top of the map would be um, a Bothy, I can't remember the name of it, but uh, yeah. Whole stretch and a bit at the bottom and top. It's the uh, beginning of day seven, and uh, I come down by the river down there. Course one: some uh, spicy noodle soup. Oh yeah. Course two of my uh, three-course dinner: couscous and chorizo. Uh, I do normally do this in a, in a cup, but I um, took a bit of a fall a few days ago and my cup broke along with tearing my uh, waterproof trousers and my bag, so uh, I resorted to using just the uh, cooking pot. It's not too bad, thing. I know I'm scraping at the barrel when I call a hot chocolate in a pot uh, course three, but, but it is, so um, yeah. This is dinner time over, and uh, then I probably need to stick the outer on the tent. But uh, the sun's just gone in. The midges are swarming everywhere. I left it a bit too late. Day eight, and I'm uh, heading over that bilac over there. Uh, I didn't quite merge my two days into one like I had hoped. 
but uh, I think my body needs the rest and it was quite nice finishing at lunch yesterday. So um, another short day today. Um, yeah. Milan over in front and uh, it's really cool sort of uh, sheets of rock uh, almost look like they've it's like a ski slope or a I don't know, very very odd uh, odd rock formation. Chenevel Boffy. This is uh, end of day eight. Another sort of half day of mine. Um, yeah, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's 35k, and um, uh, yeah, home straight. <laughs> 